Oh wait, hold on. There was I just put dirt in this con in this container. This is my idea. Dirt. Okay. Oh. Kaboom. Well, hello there, viewers, and welcome back to the second part of this terraforming double feature. We have reached episode 56, and today we are jumping straight into the action because you join me here over at what right now is Johnny it's it's a big field no it used to be a dark oak forest oh <laughs> <laughs> okay so it is indeed a massive field that used to be a dark oak forest but anyway yeah well, I think maybe the point is it, it doesn't really look that much like a field and maybe that's what we're supposed to do because yeah, what we do know, me and you, Johnny, we have, of course, uh, and I think I mentioned this in the previous episode, we have spoken together off camera about this before. So basically, yeah. if I open up my map for the, for the viewers, Johnny here has built the outline of what is going to be a massive castle yep. and the gist of it is everything from the sea to the south to a line of bamboo to the north um needs to be a little bit more flat than it is now so that the castle actually fits into the terrain yeah so basically flatten the castle everything within the castle perimeter but also flatten the area around it yeah so let me just for the reference so the line of bamboo to the north let's let me just fly to the line of bamboo in the north you you haven't ever been to the line of bamboo in the north because it isn't on your map i have hit <laughs> the line of bamboo in the north uh yeah. there were also oh so this is where you put the rest of the dark oak forest uh yeah i decided i didn't want to chop down the entire thing so <laughs> Okay, so let, let's just for the for the for the viewers, let's just fly down to the sea from here. Okay, let me let's do another take of that. That was perfectly successful. Okay, so let's for the viewers fly all the way down south to the sea, just to see how far this is. It's render distance times a bit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, my render distance is maxed out with Optifine. It, the other side of that flower forest that you're going through. <laughs> so that that's the sea. <laughs> that's the sea. That's crazy. Yeah. But this has been a 12-month month, month project, so... Um... That totally makes sense. <laughs> Well, all right, then, viewers. So, as you see, this is the terraforming job that we are going to be starting on in episode 56, and with some luck, we'll be done by episode 66. <laughs> well, if it, um, if we can just do the bit that's within the castle boundaries yeah. for now, that'll get me enough that I can start actually building the castle, yeah. which is the big thing. So, basically, um, flat, flatten everything within the walls so you can get started on work, and I can just continue flattening the bits outside yes, but it, because honestly looking outside there's there's not really there's not that much i mean you have this hill here needs flattening that uh, little it's... this little nipple needs to go this little i would say almost keep this thing because it looks very good i was like, actually don't tear this bit down simply because it looks very very good with the yeah, sort of but... natural cove I, I am going to be t uh, putting uh, over the top a layer of like black and um, grey sort of blocks to change it from a very green landscape to a very black one. So we don't actually need to make everything look grassy or anything. So okay, uh, so this is this is basically just it's just shaping it. Yeah. So basically, don't worry about how it looks. Just make it flat. Yeah. Well, just make it sort of naturally sort of slower slopes rather than yeah. big peaks so yeah so Just basically the scale of it. it so it it doesn't all have to be like perfectly flat at no. y64 
Also, I have to say, John, I have to mention this. When you fly past this little ravine here, it looks like a glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> well, ha have we actually shown people inside this hole? No. Um, Views, I th I think I've shown do you want you to see inside of Johnny's hole? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is... Um... Dang. There's big and there's this. Let me see if I can yeah. land up here. <laughs> um, like I say, this is a 12-month project so far. <laughs> this um, is... Uh... I'm not going to get it done by the end of Season 8. <laughs> no, I think you're still you're still correct there. I think honestly, <laughs> I think this might. I think if if even if we bring this along with us to season two, <laughs> well, oh, even if you give me creative from now until the end of season uh, season one, I won't finish it. <laughs> I mean, this is this is big. This is. Yeah. <sighs> um. Good. So I will bring some shulker boxes up to the top so that we can. Um, store stuff and I will throw it through my sorting system at some point. Alright. Well, I think we can just basically start... I think this this big hill section right here to the north, I think that can actually be a good place to start. Just And then, then just sort of work... No, okay, so that's the north, almost north west corner. But... Yeah, I think if we, if if we start at the northwest corner and sort of work our way diagonally, um, I think that would be a good way to do this. Because I mean, let's be fair this this isn't a job that's going to be done in one evening. No, it isn't. Um, and we've got the smile as sort of the average marker of height as well, haven't we? Oh yeah, the smile right there, and that is. I'm just going to teleport there because I'm lazy. Uh, that is, of course, at the correct Y level, and um, which ju just for everybody else's sake is Y sixty nine. Yep. Ah, uh, sorry. Couldn't with this. <laughs> I mean, it had to. It had to be done. Yeah. <laughs> Well, viewers, uh, I think uh, me rambling to try and proc procrastinate on this isn't going to help. So why don't we cut to a time lapse and get started on this map?
Well, okay then. It's been uh, quite the job. But as you can see, viewers, the entire inside perimeter of Johnny's Castle has now been leveled down to Y equals 69. And, uh, of course, thank you very much, Johnny, for helping out. Uh, thank you very much, Jesse, for coming over and helping out. Thank you very much, Red Pickle. And thank you very much, Virtually Vale, who all uh, popped in here to help with uh, flattening this. Uh, on stream, uh, across two streams. So this never crossed the streams. And what, uh, what basically remains now, uh, as you might remember from the previous clip, we have now flattened the inside. We still have the outside to do. We still have the terrain towards the sea to do. So we are we are far from done. However, for the sake of time uh, and waiting and everything, uh, I have decided that in terms of recording, this is where I'm going to draw the line for this project. I might include some of the uh, outside in a future episode but uh if i'm gonna wait for the outside bit to be finished before i release this episode then it's going to be out in 2023 so so i think uh, johnny that we pretty much settled that we were just gonna keep tinkering with the outside now and then yeah that that was the plan um maybe do it on stream maybe do some hangouts together yeah we uh, yeah me and Johnny have been talking about maybe doing a... a uh, we started talking about this on the Tuesday stream. It's currently uh, Friday, as of this being recorded. Um, and um, we have been discussing maybe doing this as part of like a 12-hour stream or something like that, doing the outside. Uh, yeah. So who knows? Uh, maybe uh, that is something that will happen in the future. Uh, but... Yeah, that is basically the insides. It didn't take as long as we feared. Uh, and it is indeed a job well done. So yeah. uh, thank you very much, Johnny, for hiring me. I, 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 I'm I, so pleased that this is done. I can now actually start building the castle. You may see in the corner, nor northwest corner over there. Oh, yeah. I have started placing the foundations. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I've got to do that times quite a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be very, very nice to see how this... Oh, that doesn't work. It's going to be very nice to see how this build turns out, and hopefully uh, it can be featured uh, in at least a semi-finished state uh, in a future episode before the end of Season 1. Well, uh, I hope so. Yeah. Um, there's no guarantees. Oh, well. But thank you very, very much once again, Johnny, uh, for giving me the job. Thank you very much to everyone I mentioned earlier, Red Pickle, Vale, Jessica, hope I didn't forget anyone there uh, for coming over here and helping with the digging. Uh, but what we're going to do now, viewers, uh, we are going to move to the next project. And I have just had word from NJ that she is just about ready for us to get started on tearing down the mountain outside her base. The wild NJ solemnly stares at the birchwood. They rarely leave their habitat, but when they do, it is usually Hello. for coffee. You alright there? Yes, I'm just recording a Planet Earth parody looking down at you from the top of this mountain. Oh, sorry. No, that's fine. Your arrival makes it even more hilarious. So, Fally's going to meet up with me any second now. Camera and... cue! <laughs> Hi. Hi. Sorry, headphone users. He does that. Hello. Thanks, you beautiful derp you. Hello. Hi. Thanks for the help. Thanks you are for the so, shout out. so very colorful. Of course, of course. I'm excited. I haven't watched your episode yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. It's on my watch list. Ooh, nice. I'm going to watch it uh, later today or tomorrow. Ooh, awesome. But yeah, yes. uh, uh, I've installed one beacon over yonder that way and one beacon ah, over yonder that way. And I've sort of walked around yeah. and tested. So this entire mountainous mm -hmm. area should be covered by those two beacons. Yes. And it looks like we're going to have even more help or not. Hi, Mrs. Hi, Mrs. 
You know what? That's okay. He's a he's a real life friend of mine. I allow that. <laughs> I'll get him later, don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of fun you have on this Chamblecraft server. Yep. But yeah, look at what we have here. We have here this gigantic mountainous range, and we need to do something about it. I am armed to the teeth. I've got my blonde roast and my diggy diggy pick, and I am not afraid to put them to good use. Yeah, I think uh, this should be a pretty straightforward job. So, uh, yeah. Well, I would say straight down, really, but... The only thing I'm worried about... See that piggy baby over there? How do we make sure that we don't kill that piggy baby? Because you... that poor thing's been stranded up there for weeks. Oh, that's fine. You do... Have... Haven't you seen B-dubs, the uh, latest episode? Mm, sadly, not yet. It's on my watch list. You cut the camera and you slice their heads off. No. You rescue. I'll see what I can do. Oh, that would require me to grab rockets, wouldn't it? Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was not smart. Okay. Good. Bad news is. my face a little bit. Bad news is the pig fell down. Good news. Good news is he made it. But there's also I... a dog and a chicken up here. Why are you? Why is one of my dogs up here? Excuse me, I did not give you permission. Wait, is this one of my dogs? It is a dog. Um, that it is not one of my dogs. It appears untamed. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to have to start here, and uh, where's my shovel? Well, guess what, buddy? You're coming with us. No! Ah, oh, biscuits. This is why I can't have nice things. I would feel sad, but that looked great from this angle. Okay, so we need to... We basically need to just start shearing the ever-loving heck out of this. Oh yeah, basically just start with shovels, take it down to rock level, and then just go full ham with mm -hmm. the picks. I have an idea. Okay. All right, we're at that point where we we now have. Oh wait, hold on. There was I just put dirt in this con, in this container. This is my idea. Dirt. Okay. Oh. Kaboom. Oh dear. Oh 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 dear. Kaboom. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well. Okay, um, oh dear.
Well, okay then. So as you can see from those clips and that time lapse, we now have the entire mountain in the front here shaved down. And NJ, hopefully this should really help you get that view from the window that you wanted. Oh, this definitely will. This is going to help immensely. I already have a lot of big, big plans. Now, I'm I'm going to have to do some terraforming along that back wall and make it a little bit uh, more manageable um, because this is a really big space. But I can easily see some grass put, being put in here, uh, building some stables or some sort of... Um, kind of open structure for the livestock I want to put in. I'd like to have a couple of sheep, a couple of cows, maybe a, a stall or two for some horses and kind of make this just this big, just this big open space uh, so that um, we could have almost like a petting zoo of sorts or something like that oh, nice. for the students of my school. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what, we'll see what we can do with it. Uh, the possibilities are endless and i'm really appreciative of all the help because this would have taken forever otherwise and well, we managed to do this in no time flat oh yeah we ha -ha, spent less flat. like flat. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean we've spent like less than two hours on this uh mm -hmm. but we've brought it down to a decent level there's still some shaving here and there and some decorating to do but I mean, the next mm -hmm. the next job for you now then is basically to put in the layer of grass and do some more tinkering. I'm gonna have to, mm -hmm. for for my sake, call it a night because, as you probably know, views me, I live in Europe and NJ lives in, on the east coast. So uh, the only real the only time we really have to record together is, well, basically when I should be in bed. Yep, you should be sleeping. Yep. But nonetheless, this <laughs> looks very good. So thank you, NJ, for the job. And uh, I mean, welcome. I'll I'll leave the beacons for now because I have like nine of them, so I don't really need these two. Uh, so you can just I can just leave the beacons for now, so that if you want to keep tearing and shaving and doing mm -hmm. some tinkering, then you'll have them. But I have to say, standing over here, I think this is the first time I've actually seen the full building without it being covered up yeah and i i can see it from here and there i mean i'm still modeling this after the house from the tv show charmed so there's obviously a bunch of work that still needs to be done along with you know putting in finishing the second floor putting in the roof and things of that nature mm. um, but once those finishing touches come in it's going to look really really stunning from the inside out and the outside in and yeah. it's just, it's one step at a time. Yeah, I can't wait to see how this turns out when it's done. And of course, NJ, if you ever need any more help, mm -hmm. then, you know, just just give me, a, give me a shout and I'll I'll come over and help out. I think that's wonderful. And I definitely may call upon your services again soon, but I don't know for what yet. So yeah. I guess the viewers will have to stay tuned. All right. Well, okay, then that is the final job done and all that really remains now is to meet up with Mickness for the payment and to close down the shop but on my way I wanted to show you this so on the side of the town hall some chests have popped up and these are courtesy of Mr. Nald Newt who has decided to be a very very good Ch Shamble Craftian and has made an amazing uh, golden carrot farm and in these two chests you will find shulker boxes and shot well uh, looking at that chest is a bit misleading if you look at this one shulker box of shulker box of shulker box filled to the brim with golden carrots and basically everyone gets a free shulker of food thank you very very much Nald Newt. i'm gonna grab another one because i am on my last golden carrots here so make sure to drop by here and uh, uh, and pick up some of them sweet, sweet golden carrots. And, of course, thank you very, very much, Nal Newt, for setting those up. And thank you very, very much, Johnny, for reminding me and notifying me that uh, these were in place uh, so that I could put them in the video here. So make sure to go there and grab yourself a shelter box of golden carrots. But with that taken care of, 
we need to head up to the nether shopping district so that we can do basically the last two things that remain on our to-do list for today and that is meet up with Mickness for payment and also to close down our terraforming shop with a little twist at the end well okay viewers uh Mickness has just alerted us that he is currently at his shop and I figured now would be a good time to get our payment. Hello Mick. Hello. So terraforming job is done. Uh, I hope you're happy. Very nice. Thank you, thank you. I, I'm glad you're happy with the result. Uh, so in terms of, of payment, I mean this has taken, well, a year. So I figured I could... I could sort of be nice with the price here. So I was thinking, uh, it's a big job. However, there's been a lot of delays. So I was thinking, how's about 20 diamond blocks and a small favour with like redstone help or something in season two? That sounds like a very fair price to me. All right, but, nice. Uh, all I have in my ender chest is this. Okay, that's three really, because uh, seventeen. So you're three blocks short. There you go. That's twenty. There's there's capitalism and there's this. Decoration. Right. Anyway, pleasure doing business with you, sir. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, Why? Have to do decoration. Yeah, and of course, if you ever need any more terraforming, um, I I'll, I'll try I'm not, not asking you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, okay then, viewers. With payment sorted, there really only is one more thing left to do, and that is to finally close the shop so we can start by taking down these signs because Valley Corp will not be in touch soon and I'm guessing we can we should probably take the book since it's wrong now um, that can that can stay that can stay uh, well that's it really the shop's been here for a while, but that is the end of it. However, I know what you're thinking, viewers. Oh no, who will I go to for my terraforming needs? Well, you see, while Falicorp terraforming is coming to an end, I am very glad to say that Rain will be taking over the reins. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rain will be continuing the tradition of terraforming. And, I mean, what better way to give you the deed to Falicorp and the keys to the shop? Thank you very much. The, sh the shop is officially yours. You can do with it as you see fit. We can even put in a sign to make it official. Thank you so much. And I'm really excited to actually get started with this. I, I can't wait to see what you end up doing that's the book you can just change valley corp to rains terraforming or whatever you want to call it and you'll be set awesome and yeah i've i've been i've already had a look at some of the work you've been doing because uh, for those of you who don't know rain has already been doing some terraforming work around the shamblecraft server and it looks it actually looks very very good so uh, thank ho you so much hopefully i'll get to showcase it on the on one of the the tools i'll probably be doing at the end of the season uh, and I can't wait to see what you do for your, for the future jobs. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, I, can't, I can't wait to see what you come up with. Terraforming is, is yeah. very, very fun. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, but, yeah, with that, viewers, uh, you join me, not in front of Falicorp Terraforming, but you join me in front of the next generation of Shamblecraft Terraforming at the shop, which is now rains terraforming and i think that is a perfect place to end it so thank you very much everyone who has been using 
my terraforming shop for all the jobs you've given me. It's It's been very, very fun. But uh, now it's time for me to focus on my own projects for the rest of this season. Thank you very, very much, Rain, for, for taking over the shop and keeping the tradition of terraforming going. And uh, yeah, I think that is going to be the end for now. So I'll catch you all in the next episode of Shamblecraft. But until then, bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.